G'day and welcome back. What I'm going to show you today is how to create a truncated cone. This came in handy for me when I was building a micro turbine and it's essentially a cone that uh, gets chopped off at a certain height. And I needed to create this so that I could um, have a narrowing shaft up for this uh, wind turbine. So I'll show you how to make this shape um, and I'll show you the method I use. I think there are a few different methods, but I think this might be the fastest one. So what you're going to want is to draw, start sketching on one of the surfaces. I'm going to just sketch on the top surface and I'm going to start with the base and let's call it 90 millimeters. And then I'm going to create a, an offset plane so that I can draw a second circle, which is much higher. And we'll say at a hundred millimeters off. And I'm going to draw that second circle to be a little bit smaller than that initial one. So I'll click select and we've got a second plane that's higher. I'll select that. If you press the end button, it'll make it come normal. And then we can sketch onto this second plane. So plane one over here, I'm going to sketch onto that. And this time I'm going to make a circle, which is 80. Well, let's go 70. So it becomes a little bit more obvious and press okay. The next thing we want to do is simply create a loft. That's going to create an extrusion between these two points. So we select both and we just select on loft. Awesome. So there we have it. We've got a truncated cone. Now what I wanted to create was a hollow truncated cone, which means there's an extra step. Now I have tried this where you create concentric circles, but unfortunately you can't loft um, the face that gets created between them. So instead what I've found I had to do was sketch onto the bottom face and I'll press normal to that. And I'm going to create an 87, 80 millimeter circle. And we'll do the same onto this face. This time we want it to be 70. Seventy. Oh, actually, now I needed. I forgot. I made that seventy originally, so I'll go sixty. Awesome. And then I am going to use the loft feature once again. This time, I am going to remove. Just choose the inner circle, inner circle, and all of a sudden we have a truncated cone, uh, which is hollowed out. There you go. Give it a go. See how you go with that one.